Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at the steps to enable or disable the Hibernate feature on Windows 11. Hibernate is a feature that saves the contents loaded into memory onto the hard drive. So you can shut down the computer completely, preserving your current session with all the running applications. This process allows you to pick up where you left off the next time you turn on your computer. The Hibernate power state is an alternative feature to sleep or shut down to save energy and preserve battery life when you're on the go or you don't have a power source nearby. Okay, let's move on to steps to manage the Hibernate feature on Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Now, to enable the Hibernate feature on Windows 11, do this. Open Start and look for Command Prompt or PowerShell or even the terminal. I like to use the terminal, so I'm going to use that. Going to right click on it and select the run as administrator option. Then open the command console that you want to use. In this case, it opened on PowerShell, but you can switch to command prompt if you want to. And from here, we're going to type this command. And this command is going to tell us if the computer has the ability to use Hibernate. And as you can see, Hibernate is an option and it's not currently enabled. Now, to enable hibernation, just type this command and then press enter. Now, if we run the first command again, we're going to see Hibernate is now turned on. Now you can close the console. And if you want to make the Hibernate option available on the settings app, or specifically on the power menu right here, what you need to do is to open control panel. And then we need to go to hardware and sound. And then we need to go to power options. From here, we need to click on choose what the power button does. And from here, we're going to click this option to access the settings. And from here, we're just going to check this option and then just click the save button. Now, when you go to the power menu, you're going to see the hibernate option is right here. Now, if you also want to change the behavior for the power button, so when you press it, it will actually hibernate the computer. Or if you want to change the closing the lid action on your laptop so the computer will hibernate when you close the lid. Do this. Open start, go to settings. And from here, let's go to the power settings. And on this option, make sure to choose the option for plugged in or on battery. And just make sure to choose the hibernate option. If you want the computer to hibernate when closing the lid, make sure to select the hibernate option right here. And the same for when the computer is on battery. Now, if you don't have this setting on the settings app, you need to go to the power options on control panel and the pass is hardware and sound. Choose what the power button does. And in here, make sure to select hibernate or when pressing the button or when closing the lid. Do the same for on battery. And you also want to use the same feature when the computer is plugged in. Make sure to change that setting as well right here. Once you're done, just click the save button. Now, if you no longer want to use hibernation on your computer, this is what you do. First, open a start and look for settings. Then go to system, then go to the power settings. And from the lid and power button controls, just make sure to choose a different option for when pressing the button and for when closing the lid, when the computer is plugged in or when the laptop is on battery. Now, if you don't have that feature and you're using control panel, you need to open control panel. And then from the power options, we're just going to change hibernate for something else. You can also uncheck this if you don't want to use it and then click the save button. Now open start and look for the terminal, right click on it and select the run center option. And to disable Hibernate on Windows 11, we need to use this option. And that's it. You can confirm that the feature has been disabled by using this command. And as you can see, Hibernation has not been enabled. So that means that it is disabled. And that's it. Those are the different ways that you can enable or disable Hibernate on Windows 11. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you. And I would like to thank you for viewing.